Do you love spending time on the water boating? Then you need this checklist when shopping for waterfront property. This week on Real TV, I'll run through part one of the key factors to finding your personal home in boating paradise. The number one consideration when home shopping for a boater is where in the world will you store your boat? Luckily, there's no shortage of neighborhoods where you can buy or rent a boat slip in a community marina. But you don't have to buy in a boating community in order to live a boating lifestyle. There are public and private marinas with wet and dry storage too. What's great about this option is you can call ahead and they'll have the boat ready for you in the water to take out. Imagine making that call and oh, by the way, can you throw in a few sandwiches and a cooler too? Sure, they say, no problem. Then when you return suntanned and ready for your nap, they'll even flush the engine and put it away. Winning! For a more economical option, you can house your boat in a storage facility and trailer it to a public boat ramp. Some neighborhoods without restrictions will even keep your boat on a trailer on your own property or in a community parking lot. But you'll need a truck and a trailer in this scenario. Or maybe you want a private boat dock behind your house so you can access it anytime you want and enjoy that view from your picture window. There are a lot of options available in Southwest Florida for those of us who love to spend time on the water. Be sure to share with your agent what is most important to you and work your home search from there. There's still more to consider and I'll share more about private boat docks next week in part two. To get more tips, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Southwest Florida. It's where I live and what I love. See you next week.